Hi guys, a lot of people have been messaging me about Bloodseeker. Man, this hero is so OP. Do you think he's OP? How should I Frogner from next patch? But one of the comments that I actually received was like, can you teach me how to avoid rupture damage by blink walking? And I looked into this a little bit and the mechanics of Bloodseeker's rupture, which is not stated in his tooltip or his advanced tooltip, uh, is, well, pretty much the premise is if you, if you move, you take damage. As you can see, I'm moving, I blink, I still take damage, I use my blink dagger, uh, this green thing is actually 1200 range, da -da -da, range display 1200, and I still take damage if I blink while ruptured. So, how do you actually avoid the damage by blink walking? Well, the short answer with anti mage is that you actually can't. The way that Bloodseeker's rupture works is actually it deals damage only if you moved less than 1300 units. In 0 0.25 seconds so the 1300 units is actually pretty hard to achieve aside from TPing it which is likely why it was coded in the first place if I TP all the way home I'm just gonna instantly die to rupture damage if it weren't coded like that but luckily for us it is so that you can actually TP away from rupture but what if you can't actually TP it's on cooldown or you don't have one or whatever it may be so for anti mage you can't really escape the 1300 range. His blink is only max 1150, which means you need another 150 distance to go in 0 0.25 seconds, which means you need 600 move speed, but max move speed is only 522. So with anti-mage, you can't really blink and then move. You'll still get hit by it no matter how hard you try. So how do you actually avoid it? You can actually get a blink dagger and then blink, blink, and you'll actually travel more than that uh, 1300 distance and you won't take any damage and is it practical no can it avoid can you avoid, avoid rupture damage with it yes you can so that's one cool thing about blink dagger on anti mage besides trying to troll your enemies or your teammates with queen of pain however it's a little bit of a different story because her blink range is actually 1300 so when she gets ruptured she just has to blink move a tiny bit and then not get she won't get hit by the by the rupture damage which is actually pretty incredible you do have to blink max range though but just blink like oh, way further than you would normally and then you won't get hit by rupture damage. Damage. if i blink just a little bit too short here. like anti mages then i'll take the damage from rupture so again the magic range is going to be 1300 the which is pops maximum blink tower. range and you want to move just a little bit over that just to be safe so that you won't get hit for a massive pure damage nuke. So that is actually pretty cool. Down. And with anti mage again, there's not really a good way to avoid it. You can get like a heart to mitigate the damage. You can you can just stand there and man fight, which is what anti mages usually do, or uh, TP home. But uh, being able to blink walk will not work for anti mage or people with blink dagger. Um, well, actually, technically you can do it with Blink Dagger, but it's very, very difficult. You have to teleport to the max distance, and you have to move 100 move speed, or 100 distance in a quarter of a second, which means that you need to coordinate, like, almost perfectly. So, it's pretty much not worth the risk with Blink Dagger, and the only hero that it's viable on is going to be the Queen of Pain. So, I hope you learned something about the rupture mechanics to avoid this nasty, nasty hero that's been plaguing pubs all day, and... Hopefully you can pull a little trick or two to confuse your opponent. So there you have it, 1300 units less than 0. Point, or sorry, 0 0.25 seconds more than 1300 units. Thank you guys for watching.